Mike Wheeler has been using L since season one to hide the fact that he is gay. And this is why it probably flew under your radar. L is Mike's beard. A beard is a person who is used knowingly or unknowingly as a romantic partner to conceal one's sexual orientation. In the case of Elle, she doesn't know it. What exactly are we looking at here? Mike Wheeler is in the closet. And despite what some of you may think, yes, gay people did exist in the 80s. <gasps> in fact, it's because it's the 80s that he's in the closet. Did we forget the entirety of season one where Mike faced homophobic bullying? Go by some other queer. <laughs> and despite that, Mike stood up to them. And while these bullies phrased it as will, it was directed at Mike. Oh. I feel like people forget this. It was so bad that even his family mentioned it. This is such bullshit. Language. So we're under house arrest? Just because Mike sprang out lost on the way home. Wait, this is Will's fault? fault? Nancy, take that back. <gasps> You see, Michael? See what happens? What happens when what? I'm the only one acting normal here. I'm the only one that cares about Will. Our son with a girl? <laughs> You've seen it. I've been bullied my entire life. And many gay people react to being gay very differently. For Mike, that ended up becoming internalized homophobia. It's not my fault you don't like girls. I've made several videos on this. Basically, all the negative things that was said about him being gay, he internalized and turned into self-hatred. And when you have internalized homophobia, unfortunately, one of the ways it can manifest is having a beard. Person who is your shield. The one that you are reflecting a heterosexual image to protect yourself. What's wrong? The most obvious indicator of the beard usage here is the fact that he literally pushes her arms away while kissing her, restrains them so she doesn't keep touching him, and kisses her with his eyes wide open. Another indication is his sudden behavioral shift. He went from being the most loyal friend to basically ignoring most of them. In fact, from season one, he jumped off a cliff for Dustin to ignored his entire existence in season three. And with Will, he basically dedicated 99% of his time to frankly being cruel to him. Why? Because he was hyper-focusing on L to keep up a hyper- heterosexual image. I knew there was something off about you. You're gay. And while it's very easy to hate Mike for this, it's honestly the result of how society treats gay people, and especially in the 80s. So try to have empathy for him and Elle in the situation. Because even though the relationship is doomed to fail, I genuinely do believe they're going to become best friends. I tend to talk about Mike's idolization of Elle's powers. They're nobodies. And you're a superhero. But I don't talk about his insecurities. Almost every single moment that Mike has been brave, Ella saved him. Mike feels inadequate to her. She's special. She was born special. Maybe I was one of the first people to realize that. And one day she's gonna realize that I'm just some random nerd that, that got lucky that Superman landed on his doorstep. Mike lost Will. Mike lost L, And now he's terrified to lose them both. In my personal belief, Mike Wheeler is gay. But that doesn't mean he doesn't love Elle. He loves her so deeply and cares for her so much. He wants her to need him even though she doesn't need him. Platonic love is equally as powerful and motivating for a person. So while it's unfortunate that Elle had to be a part of this, even when the relationship does fall apart, and I have a feeling Elle's probably gonna end it first, honestly, at this point, just know that she's not gonna be heartbroken because she's never gonna lose her friend. When you're, when you're different, sometimes you feel like a mistake. And while it's purposefully obscured for us to know his true expressions, you can tell he feels the same way, based off what blurriness we got. We know this because he also nodded during the junkyard scene. Sometimes, I think it's just scary to open up like that, to say how you really feel, especially to people you care about the most. Because what if, what if they don't like the truth? 
The problem Mike was having was telling Elle that he loved her because he doesn't love her the way that she wants him to. He only loves her platonically. I love you! But he lied through his confession. And in reality, he treats her with very little regard. The last letter you could have received from her? He threw it in the trash. You really think that was the first one he threw away? Elle has a shrine to Mike. Mike has nothing from Elle in his room or his basement. But do you know what he does have? A binder full of Will's drawings. Will's drawings all over his room and basement. Elle is a beard. And honestly, I hate calling her that because it sounds mean even though it's not a mean word, it's just a term. But if we're talking about a story device and what is being used here, she's a beard. That's okay because that's not her entire story arc. Elle's story arc has always been kind of separated from everybody else with her supernatural abilities, her time in the lab, things like that. She doesn't need a relationship. Am I your pet? What? No! And why do you treat me like garbage? To be a strong character, because she already is. And while Mike's main plotline right now is this, it's not Elle's. And judging off the ending of season 4, she's probably gonna end things with Mike. Cause Mike finally said I love you, but she didn't buy it, and she's kinda done with him. Does she talk to you at all? Not much. I, for one, am super looking forward to seeing what they do with her character in season 5. And as for Mike, I personally relate because, uh, like I've said, he's very similar to me at his age. <laughs> I have empathy for him as someone who has done exactly the same thing. It's very hard to come out as gay, and I can't even imagine how it was like in the 80s. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on Mike again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! I dump your ass.